Yo, what's up, guys? This is me, Don Tommy. Today, as you can see, we have a new beach update in Lumion Legacy. So I'm gonna be explaining the whole beach update thing. It's it's like you have to do a lot of stuff. I'm gonna show all the new Lumions you can get. It's amazing, and this may be my favorite update out of all because the other updates are pretty boring. But this one is so fun. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys how to actually get all of the lumians and anyways let's get started so the first lumian is this lumian that's following me it's called sharpod sharpod is this little one it's a shark pokemon a shark lumian i keep on forgetting pokemon and lumian but the thing is if you go on mastery and go on lumipedia i you can only get this shark pod guy by actually defeating this Lumion called. Wait, it's coming down. Yeah, it's coming. So, this Lumion. Uh, yeah, this one right here. Sam Marine. You can actually get the. You can actually get shark, shark pod by fishing uh, in the water. And once you get him, it has to be. A certain level to evolve into San Marine, but while you do it, you have to defeat the San Marine boss. Meaning that, uh, yeah, so you can only defeat the San Marine boss. And to get the San Marine mount, everybody's talking about, you will actually this time have to own a San Marine to get the mount. So after you evolve the Shark Pod, you can get the San Marine mount, which will actually go with the shop person. I'll show you later. There's another Lumion I haven't catched, sadly, so sorry, but it's one that will evolve. It's a pretty much turtle one. So the stats on this is pretty good. 82 health. It's a Polit Corp um, Lumion, so it's pretty good. So then next, I, I've actually fought this. It took me some time. So the next one is... Lumica. Lumica evolves into one like kind of like sea slug, sea snail type of like thing. And their stats are pretty bad. They're not that great. And then everybody may be asking about Poly P. And how are you like Vidanto? How did you actually find this? Vision, how did you find this? Well, you can easily just go in the water and um there'll be a person right there, that little girl, and you can battle her. And she will have a po a Popley. So, we'll explain about these other Lumians later. The ones you can find. So, right there. And then the next one is uh, a pretty crazy one, too. It's one that is called Snaggle. And Snaggle is very, very cool. It's not like you might be like, oh, what? So, the Snaggle can evolve into, uh, has two more evolutions. And if you find a snaggle with bread, a sandwich in its mouth, that means it's very rare. And also the shark pod is a one out of 50 chance. So kind of like the harvest and a snow like that, exactly like that. So like the spirit tricks and snow, snow. So yeah, it's exactly like that. Then Kanki. Kanki is this kind of crab type the water and brawler i'm actually thinking they got this idea from crab brawler from pokemon and then kanki evolves into a big uh crab pokemon which i haven't got uh so i would say it's okay in the stats not that great and then we have carvanish carvanish i don't think has an evolution i don't know but yes this is this is a carvanish water plant not that great, but it's like okay. I would say the best one out of this whole update would be the Samarine. So yeah. The thing is that now we out of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's this one, but I haven't caught yet. It's it has another evolution. So yeah, it's that there's also that. But let me just show you the thing I wanted to show you. This is the shopman. Have you brought any tra trash? You can get trash by easily fishing. Let's see what you fished up. So we go down here. On, on, like how I said, the mount will be right here after you've got a same marine. 
Uh, it's pretty cool. You ride inside the same marine, so it's it's pretty cool. So yeah, you can get all of these with all your trash junk, but I would say save it for this. This is like real cool. I haven't got it yet because I have to evolve it, and that takes so long. And then also, uh, this is like the last thing you have to do. Take a submarine to Atlantean City coming with the Atlantean update. What does that mean? Yeah, there's another update for Atlantean City. It's We are not in Atlantean City. We're at the Atlantean Beach. We're at, actually not Atlantean Beach. We're at for what they call Lotus, Lotusin Beach. So... Pretty cool. They haven't fully done it. We've been waiting for a long time because there haven't been so many updates. But yeah, so that's all about for this video. Yeah. So we, that person you can battle. You have uh, the sharp pod is uh, one out of 50 chance. Uh, so yeah. And, and here I'll just fish for you. So it's like the same thing how you do in the gomp, uh, Bob's Pond. It's like exactly like that. You also may find some gompies, but regular ones. See, I just fished up a rusty can. That's a junk. I don't know why it's showing hashtags on my name. Maybe because my name is Vision Skull and they won't. They don't like that. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, yeah. They also have UGC items which cost Robux, and you can actually wear them in other games. My favorite, I would say, would be, out of all, the, the Metronet's hood. And if you combine that with the Duskate mask, I think it will look so crazy. Ikazu, not that great. But, like, yeah, they also got some new UGC items. And uh, here, all of this, all of that. We have everything. It's pretty cool. You can get the sharp pod by fishing. You can get the carnivish by a carnet, a carnet. I don't know. I have to still get used to the names. But that is pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye!